what's up everybody so today we'll be starting with the next lesson on the course of animal classification and the lesson is the second part of the basis of classification or the basic terms that are involved in the animal classification so let's get started so you can follow me on unacademy.in slash user slash iftikhar khan so we'll firstly start with what exactly is a body plan so body plan is basically as the definition goes it is the arrangement of the cells in a multicellular organism to form the body it is basically concerned with the morphology of the organism so the body plan of an organisms can be of various various types so these are the types first type is the cellular aggregate so what does this mean it means that the cells are aggregated but tissues are not formed that is the division of labor isn't completely set so it is present in only one phyla that is of porifera or the sponges then we have the blind sac well in this in this type of body plan uh only single opening is used for entry and exit like like we have mouth and an anus but in this thing only a single opening is present and no two openings are present and so as a result the alimentary canal is not complete it's incomplete so it is present in cylindrates and platyhelminths that are the flatworms then we have the most advanced type of body organization or the body plan that is tube within tube so what does this tube within tube mean so the outer tube is made by the body wall while the inner tube is made by the alimentary canal in this case the alimentary canal has two openings that is the mouth and the anus so the alimentary canal in this case is complete all the phyla from nematelminthes to the chordates are belonging to the tube within tube so depending on the appearance of the mouth protostomes and deuterostomes can be classified so what does the term protostom and deuterostom mean so when the mouth the first opening the first opening that appears in the embryo serves as a mouth then it's called protostomes proto means first and stome means mouth while if the first opening is made is used as an anus then they are called deuterostomes deuteros means second and stome means stome means mouth so as i told you in deuterostomes the mouth appears second and the blastopore that is the first opening in the embryo is converted into the anus so it is the more advanced of the two and echinoderms hemichordates are and chordate are involved in deuterostomes while in protostomes nemat all the previous ones including the nematelminthes the annelids the arthropods and the molluscans are involved so now we'll talk about silom or the body cavity so a silom is nothing but a body cavity present between the alimentary canal which is the gut and our body wall so basically a cavity between body wall and alimentary canal so there are of various types uh first leaf the first organisms is a silomate what does this mean that if this cavity is completely filled with mesodermal tissue then the organisms are called a silomates so it includes the first the most primitive organisms 
uh, which have a body wall and elementary canal as such though it may not be complete so the example is platyhelminths then we have pseudo silomates we have in this case we have a body cavity but it is not it's not lined by the mesoderm so what happens is basically uh, the blastocoel or the embryonic cavity it does not dissolve it does not go away and it persists so it acts as a pseudo silo we have only one phyla as the example the math helminths as the example then we have u silom or the true silomates so basically the body cavity is internally and externally lined by mesodermal tissue so all the phyla from annelids till chordate that include molluscans arthropodans echinodermata and hemichordata they all are included in u silomates so this is the example so this diagram is of u silom in this we cannot see any gap between the body wall and the elementary canal so in pseudo silom as we can see uh, we have these pouches but the they are not lined by mesoderm as such so they are basically blastocoel which is the embryonic cavity then we have these silomates so as you can see there is a mesodermal lining on both the internal and external part that's why they are eucilomates or true silomates so now i'll tell you about some of the specific terms uh, which you should be knowing about so the mesodermal lining that covers the body cavity or the silom is termed as peritoneum so it's termed as peritoneum so we have two types of peritoneum visceral peritoneum and parietal peritoneum so what is the meaning of visceral peritoneum so whenever you you hear the word visceral you should think about viscera so what is viscera they are basically the organs which are inside us so visceral visceral means towards the inside so and what do what do you mean by parietal peritoneum parietal is always used for external or the outer ones okay that's the important thing you should know that know about then we have mesentery so mesentery is nothing but a double fold of peritoneum which holds intestine and connects it to the dorsal voa dorsal wall dorsal body wall and through it arteries nerves and veins pass so it's mesentery is basically a type of peritoneum it's a double fold of peritoneum and it's around the intestine or the bowel that's the important thing then we have omentum omentum is basically also type of peritoneum and it holds the stomach it's also a double fold and it holds the stomach so i think we'll finish here because we don't have time so in the next lecture in the next one i'll be talking about segmentation so thank you everybody thanks for listening and see you in the next lesson